maybe just start with uh, what the trade looks like here. You know, we uh, made a deal with uh, New Jersey today, and we got Jaeger Serengovic and uh, a third-round pick. Our Actually, our third-round pick at 80 coming back to us. So, you know, we just felt like to get a little younger, uh, he can play all three forward positions, and just to kind of get back in the draft with another pick would be big for us. Tell me about uh, Sharon Govich. What are you getting back in this player? Uh, what do you like about uh, the idea of bringing him into the forward group? The one thing, he can play all three positions. So it's that kind of versatility that kind of sets him apart from other guys. He's a shooter. He can score. Uh, he had 24 goals two years ago. Uh, this year, not as much ice time, but we feel like if we put him in a position to, to have success, uh, he will. And you know, that's the that's the thing you got to kind of project forward what he's going to be. And he's a very good penalty killer. That's the one thing uh, that we watched and our scouts thought is all the other stuff. He didn't get a lot of power play time, but he was excellent on the penalty kill. So uh, you mentioned the youth, uh, 25 years of age, it kind of fits into that, uh, into that age range uh, in terms of your forward groups now. I mean, how do you like where that sets up? You know, you always, we're trying to get a little younger here. Like I said before, you know, we want to add some youth. So with him and some of the younger guys that might play, the age is really going to come down on this team. And that's, that's what we're trying to do. I mean, we're trying to, you know, we have some older guys, but if we can bring that youth in, that's, that's kind of the key. And he fits right into that mold for us. Is this a guy, you know, looking back at previous drafts too, a guy that kind of jumped out at you in terms of going through that process or someone that, you know, maybe had an eye on it earlier? Yeah, I mean, you know what, he, he's kind of come on the radar the last two or three years. You know, I mean, I read the reports, I'm, I'm watching him, and when you see him, he's a big guy, he skates well, you know, he goes to the nets and he shoots the puck well, yeah. you know, so he seems to have that knack around the net. Um, and just and he's only getting better, especially at 25. His game's just coming, and like I said, if we can put him in a position to to play with good players and good spots, you know, we feel like this this guy has a chance to do something really well here for us. Is it sort of the, the key to it all? The fact is, you got a new coach. He's talked about the way you want to play, so it's about kind of you know building a team that sort of surrounds the whole philosophy that you're trying to instill here. Well, exactly. I mean, you want to get you know we wanted a little size, and he's a bigger guy, and then we wanted to have some pace, and he's a good skater. So, you know, all those things combined, and with the penalty kill, that's that's big for us. So, you know, you're just always trying to improve your team and get better, and and this way we're getting a little younger also. Uh, and we talked this morning just about uh, draft capital and how important that is uh, here this week. Um, yeah, so now you got, as you said, your pick back one through uh, four now and, and six picks overall. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's weird that it happens to be our pick coming back, but I think we're happy to have it. I mean, being with the scouts today, they're hoping uh, any pick we can ha kind of get this year, they think it's it's such a good year. They're looking forward to it. So when they hear about the trade, they'll uh, they'll be happy about this one.